Hi everyone, Renelia here. Uh, this is my final layout using the September kit from Kitahala Kits. And I'm doing a storyline chapters insert layout because I love my storyline chapters insert and because Steph very kindly sent me some more. So I am going to be using a lot more. This particular insert is actually one that's dedicated to my friends. So I've done a few layouts in the past for Kitahola Kits using this particular, uh, using this book, I should say. Uh, and this layout is going to be about my friend Nicole. So I printed out a bunch of photos of us, which are small and on the right hand side. And on the left, I'm going to use a very old photo of us uh, that I had just in my box of photos. Uh, I did spray the background, but I didn't like how it looks. So later on, I'm just going to take some paper and I'm going to stick over it. Moving on to the right hand side, I had already chosen which uh, papers and which cards I wanted to use. And this is a little tip for you. I have been fighting with my uh, sewing machine and it's not my friend right now, so I can't do stitching on layouts, but I have this little dashed stamp, which creates a really nice border, but I want it to be white and the best white ink that I have isn't good enough. Like it just doesn't show up. I could use a paint pen, but again, it's just not bright enough for what I want to achieve ultimately. So I am doing some heat embossing, just using white uh, embossing powder. And that is something that I find is just the most opaque white. Obviously you need to stamp for it, but I know that you can also get a pen, uh, which is sort of like a Versamark pen, which is the clear ink, then you can emboss on top of that. Anyway, <laughs> I am going to take that little piece of ephemera. I'm going to stick that right on top. I am flipping it over because I was covering up my favorite part of the little dashed line, if that makes sense. Uh, and then I'm going to leave that card for now, although later I do add a little puffy heart to it. Now I'm going to this rainbow paper. I loved this rainbow paper. I used it in every layout I could this month. Um, and I still have a little bit left, which I'm really happy about. And I'm doing the same thing. I wanted to bring in some more bright white. And so I am stamping stronger together, just a random stamp I had in my stash. And I'm doing some white heat embossing on that particular card to really make the white pop. I didn't want to go black because as you can see, the photos are all quite dark and I didn't feel that a big bold black stamp would look that good in the middle of the card. I do put a little outline, a little dashed outline to mimic the bottom right hand corner uh, in black, but that is just, just enough black. Now this particular uh, little card layer, like insert, I don't know what to call it. Um, I cut it from one of that, that uh, 12 by 12 paper that had all the frames. And then I just backed it on one of the, that rainbow sort of blendy paper. Here's another trip trick for you. Uh, uh, if you have like little puffy dots like I do, you can always use the negative to uh, prop up your uh, pieces that you want propped up. You don't have to just use the dots. It's actually easier using the negative. Now, mine was not as sticky as what it once was, so I made sure to add some glue as well, but it means that you're not going to let anything go to waste. Taking three little phrases from... <clears throat> The puffy sticker sheet, I don't remember what it, which ones I chose and I can't see on my screen right now, I'm sorry, but you'll see it in the end photos. And then I'm going to call that card done. Now I put it in the middle and I propped it up and I made it really nice and dimensional because I just like how that looks and it really draws your eye and then your eye goes to the bordering photos and cards as well. Adding some puffy hearts to this particular card. I'm doing three on the top, three on the bottom, and I'm also gonna add that heart to the bottom card as well um, in just a moment. I am I love it when we get a kit that's so that's just one collection because it takes away a lot of the thinking that we have to do because all the colours match, we know it's gonna match, it doesn't really matter. Uh what we put where because everything's going to look good together so that makes me uh very happy and this particular kit oh i i just i love it it's so pretty it's got such soft colors and yeah i could go on but i won't <laughs> i am going and i'm just go doing some little embellishments on the photos not too much so i'm adding this little tab 
that says best day to this little photo because this was a friend, a mutual friend of ours, her, our wedding, her wedding. And it's one of the nicer photos that Nicole and I ever took of each had, had taken together because we don't often, we often take selfies. We don't really take uh, or have photos taken of us. Then I'm taking that together die cut piece and I'm stapling that to that top photo. And this uh, is the sticker sheet that came with a collection. It didn't come in the kit, but I actually placed an extra order with Kidaholic Kids through their shop to get a few extra items, a lot of extra items, I should say. <laughs> um, and I really just wanted little word phrase stickers to go on two of the photos uh, just to balance it out a little bit more. And so I thought, why not use the word phrase stickers that actually came with this same collection, which is why I'm using that. But if you want to create this layout and you don't have that particular sticker sheet, I'm sure we all have 10,000 word phrase stickers in our stash right uh when that is done i decided to use that leftover of most of the leftovers of that flower paper on the other side i don't know why i didn't like that splatters i think that my color theory got a bit mixed up and it just didn't look that good and there was a bit of muddiness and a bit of brown and i just didn't love it i completely just forgot to press play when i did this little bit uh but pretty much i put that little strip down the bottom of the photo which came from one of the 12 by 12 cut apart sheets. Oh, sorry, someone's um, racing a motorbike out the front of my house. Uh, and then I just added the journaling on the bottom, added this little phrase and rounded the corners to make it look like one big piece. And then I stuck it down. Uh, adding, the, oh, I also added a little tiny little phrase from the puffy sticker sheet. I'm adding the date and then this layout is done. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I will see you next month for the next beautiful kit from Kidahala Kids. And I hope you all have a wonderful week. See you later. Bye.